Hey everyone, um, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm really excited to share some groundbreaking news for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. Linux kernel 6.14 has just been officially released by Linus Torvalds. This new stable version of the kernel is packed with a host of fresh features and improvements that promise better hardware support and enhanced performance. For instance, one of the big highlights is the addition of Betref's RAID 1 read balancing support, which means improved performance and reliability when using that file system. There's also a new NSYNC subsystem designed to boost game emulation with Wine by handling WinNT synchronization primitives more uh, efficiently. And let's not forget the inclusion of uncatched buffered I.O. support and uh, an accelerator driver for AMD's XDNA Ryzen AI NPUs. Yep, those are the neural processing units making their debut. Now, if you're into more detailed tech stuff, there's plenty more to talk about. The update also brings DRM panic support for the AMD GPU driver and adds reflink and reverse mapping support for XFS real-time devices. It even extends its hardware reach with improved support for Intel Clearwater Forest servers and enhanced SLinux extended permissions. Additionally, Fuse now supports IO Yoring and a new FS Notify file pre-access event type has been introduced along with a new C group controller for device memory, which is really going to streamline resource management. And for those running on AMD CPUs, the core energy counter support is a neat feature to keep an eye on. There are also some exciting improvements in power management and hardware support. For example, the kernel now offers better suspend resume support for Raspberry Pi devices and even manual fan control support on Dell XPS 9370 laptop. Plus, there's a plethora of updated drivers for gaming controllers like the Nikon Evil X and Nikon Pro Compact Xbox One controllers along with new drivers for Intel Touch controllers, Realtek sound chips, and more. Essentially, this kernel update is geared towards power users and developers looking for robust performance enhancements and broader hardware compatibility. Before you rush off to compile the new kernel, remember that you can download Linux kernel 6.14 right now from Linus Torvalds' git t tree or kernel.org. However, if you're not into compiling your own kernel, it might be wise to wait until the update appears in your distro's stable software repositories. Looking ahead, the merge window for Linux 6.15 is already open with the first release candidate expected on April 6th and uh, the full release anticipated by the end of May or early June 2025. So there's plenty to get excited about as Linux continues to evolve and push the boundaries of what's possible. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this detailed update on Linux kernel 6.14. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next update.